This boy slept in neighbor's house. When he woke up, he faced the shock of his life. It was a crisp autumn evening when 12-year-old Lucas found himself at his neighbor's house, the Johnsons. His parents had gone out for dinner, and he'd been invited over for a sleepover with his best friend Ethan. The two boys had spent hours playing video games, laughing, and munching on popcorn. As the night wore on, they eventually drifted off to sleep, the glow of the TV fading into darkness. When Lucas awoke, the sun was streaming through the window, casting a warm glow across the room. He rubbed his eyes and stretched, feeling a sense of comfort that was foreign to him. But as he turned to check the time, a chilling realization washed over him. The room was eerily quiet. Ethan was nowhere to be found. Lucas swung his legs over the side of the bed and stood up, the wooden floor cold against his bare feet. He glanced around the room, taking in the unfamiliar surroundings. The walls were adorned with photographs of the Johnson family, smiling faces frozen in time, moments of joy that felt distant and surreal. Ethan, Lucas called out, his voice echoing in the silence. He waited, but only the faint sound of the wind outside responded. Panic began to creep in as he stepped into the hallway. The house felt larger and more intimidating in the daylight, shadows lurking in every corner. He made his way down the stairs, the creaking of the steps amplifying his unease. Ethan, he shouted again, his heart racing. The living room was empty, the remnants of their late-night gaming session scattered across the coffee table. Lucas's mind raced with thoughts. Had Ethan gone to get breakfast? Was he playing a prank on him? Determined to find his friend, Lucas ventured outside. The crisp air hit him like a splash of cold water, and he squinted against the brilliant sunlight. He walked toward the backyard where he saw the swing set swaying gently in the breeze, but there was no sign of Ethan or anyone else. Just as he was about to turn back, he noticed something unusual near the fence. A small, colorful flyer was pinned to the wooden post. Curiosity peaked, he approached it. As he read the words, his heart sank. Missing, Ethan Johnson, age 12, last seen at home on September 11. If you have any information, please call. Lucas stumbled back, the world around him spinning. The flyer felt like a punch to the gut. Ethan was missing, but they'd been together just hours ago. His mind raced with questions. How could this happen? Was he in danger? Racing to the front door, he flung it open and dashed towards the Johnson's neighbors, the Thompsons. Mr. Thompson, Mrs. Thompson, Lucas shouted, his voice cracking with fear. The elderly couple emerged from their house, alarmed by the frantic boy. "'What's wrong, Lucas?' Mr. Thompson asked, concern etched on his face. "'It's Ethan. He's missing,' Lucas gasped, pointing at the flyer. Mrs. Thompson's eyes widened as she quickly grabbed her phone. "'We need to call the police,' she said, her voice steady despite the panic in her eyes. Hours passed, and just when Lucas felt like giving up, a voice rang out from the woods at the edge of the neighborhood. "'Lucas, over here!' It was Ethan, disheveled but safe, emerging from the trees with a sheepish grin. "'I'm so sorry. I went for a walk and got lost,' Ethan explained, relief flooding through Lucas. As they embraced, Lucas realized that sometimes the scariest moments can lead to the strongest bonds. The shock of that morning would linger, but the friendship forged in fear and uncertainty would last a lifetime.